Welcome Survivor, we're moving into another stream here with obviously it's going to be Prime, we're going to have Rick and we're going to have a bunch of the developers including Fatal has been doing a lot of really cool development and a bunch of you probably recognize this name from the forums or from some of the other streams. There's going to be a lot of questions uh, actually from the beginning to end actually but I'm trying to condense this into something that people can watch and still doesn't spoil too much but still gives a lot of the information. And if you enjoy these videos, why not to give me a like on my video and make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I am putting out a lot of Alpha 19 videos and I will be going forward as well. I do have uh, some free keys to give away for the streamer weekend. One of them has already started. The first giveaway is in the description below. I will have more 7 Days to Die game key giveaways as well that will be on my streams on the weekend. So make sure you catch me in my streams on YouTube or twitch.tv slash video 42 We're going to start off here with the developers going through their things and uh, especially Fatal's things are really cool. He's been talking about some of the AI changes and updates and will be a little bit of the dynamic mu music system. We'll see some of the fogs and yeah, there's going to be a lot of cool stuff and you'll be able to see a little bit of the junk drone in action. Yes, that's it, folks. We will see some of the junk drone in action. You'll also see a, a couple of the bugs in there of how it isn't quite fully working but they are really trying to make it happen not probably on the first ex experimental but a point release after that so that's going to be really cool when they get that done but let's tune into the team hey everybody so this is our i think this is our sixth dev stream for alpha 19. Uh, joining us again is uh richard and we have the programmers here uh we're going to do some introductions john Liptek is our lead principal engineer he's a uh... He's been coding in games forever, and we'll uh, let him let him talk. Forever, also known as thirty years now. This year's thirty years for me. Um, I've actually been working on the game for almost three years now. And you all saw it last <laughs> night. I mean, we showed a lot of it, so you saw the the new lighting and everything. But oh, well, and you and you turned it up, and it didn't look bad or weird. No, it didn't. It it, it, it actually is really lighted. good for. And I said this last night, it's really good for streamers because I know so many times I'm told, hey, can you turn up the gamma because we can't see what you're doing in there. And I agree. I, I second and third that uh, the, the gamma has been a problem before you as a streamer, video creator. You pump it up a little bit because otherwise people can't see, especially on mobile devices or devices where it's a bit darker. And then people just complain it's uh, washed out. And I agree, it got really washed out. So this is really, really a good thing. Don't go. say that. Now they're going to be like refs or confirmed <laughs> Alpha 20 or something. Like you say hey, buzzwords hey, and they're like, wait a minute, well, we're getting that? We, America's hobo here in the in the house has, has made a raft. And we just haven't implemented it yet. Yes, we do have the raft in the game. And I do have vehicle code that will more or less let it float on water. It just requires okay. some lovely glue to put it all together and to kind of make it work. And... Now they really think we're putting a raft in the game. Rafts, rafts <laughs> Way to go, confirmed. guys. Now they really now they're really thinking we're doing it. I we're would only like kidding to have everybody. a raft in the game at some point. See, and, you know, Fatal, perfect. It just needs that glue. Make that happen. Take a week or something. Call in sick, you know. Uh, just make it happen because people have been asking for raft for such a long time. I think we would all love it. This is just it's them all, talking. Well, Waterworld DLC is confirmed. <laughs> it's going to be for Alpha 99. It's going to be Alpha 99. Oh, God. Um, oh, now they're saying sharks confirmed. Actually, we might have a fish coming at some point. Supposedly, oh we have Stop a... Confirming. No, we do have a shark. We do have a shark model that's in the project. And I, oh. I know um, I know Sasha would really love to see that thing swim around. Because he mentioned sharks to me months ago. And I was like, that would be too cool to do on a weekend or something. But I never got around to it. Okay, I, I think we need to crowdfund Fatal to take a weekend or two to get these things in. I mean, if it's a weekend work to get it in, let's crowdfund him and do a GoFundMe and make sure he can take the time to do that. So what was I saying? Yes, head tracking, it's uh, working. It's not quite done yet, but, uh, you know, it does a good enough job right now. It's it, I actually like it. One of the One of the things I like it the most about is... If there's a zombie just walking along and you're sneaking up on him, like, yeah, I'm going to shoot this guy with my arrow from stealth, which, by the way, does, like, much more damage than it used to. I was very happy about that change. They snuck that in on me at some point. And uh, then you see his head turn, and you're like, ah, crap, he saw me. 
it's because it's it's a little more you know when you get that eye contact now it's a little more convincing that uh it is that, that kinda you've been had and you're not getting that self damage you thought you were going to get so. it's kind of it's kind of creepy <laughs> okay so something else uh Something that bugged me a lot uh, was hit reactions. It always annoyed me that, like, a good amount of the time you'd hit a zombie and literally nothing would happen. They would just be kind of like like they were a statue, you know. Um, to me, if you hit something, it should always get some kind of reaction, a little bit of reaction, whatever. Um, so I redid how uh, hits work on zombies. It actually does a nice blending layer now. And it can blend in the hit reaction on top of whatever the zombie's currently doing, like, say, trying to kill you. So it can actually be swinging at you, trying attacking you, and you can hit it and still see a little bit of a flinch and a blend in of the animation while it's still actually trying to hit you. Oh, this is perfect. Uh, people who have followed my channel might have known that I, sh I commented on this about, I think it was for Alpha 17, the previews, that we needed some kind of hit reaction every time, feedback to the hit on the animation, because it was very static. Yes, they might stumble sometimes, but the rest of the time it was just some blood and that was it. So with that bug fixed and the general tweaks to it, and it's... And it does, uh, the intensity varies over time. So each time you're hitting the zombie, he's building up pain resistance. And then uh, the hits get smaller and smaller. But hopefully, uh, you will always see some amount of hit reaction, even if they're basically have, you know, a full pain resistance and they're not being, uh, their attacks are not being stopped at all. So. So what we're going to show you guys now is this is my fun little playtest level that I do eh, like 80% of my testing in. Um, and why you ask? Well, because it has lots of fun obstacles and lots of combinations of stuff that it would typically give pathfinding or like collisions. So like, I don't know, a month ago, I reworked a bunch of jumping stuff. We had some bugs with jumping interacting with um, the new fall behavior stuff. There, we had a variety of bugs that got caused because of the breakout fall behavior stuff. So now they're, the two things are kind of integrated together. So when they do like jumps up on stuff, they're, they do much more variety than they used to do. They actually can jump a little quicker now. The landing is faster. So they're a little more responsive when say they're chasing you up a block of stairs. Um, but you'll also see a variety of combinations of even the one meter landing has been reworked to be to, to use some variations of like sometimes you'll see them play an animation or react as if they fell a short distance. So basically it just gives us a lot more variety with like how the zombies feel as they follow you around. It's very common for them to have to jump up one meter heights. Uh, yeah, if you just swoop around a bit and head towards the back, there's a lake over there, and then we can show, uh, Ooh, talk about swimming a bit. There she goes. She saw us. So you can see her head tracking. Her beady little eyes are looking at you like your dinner, and uh, you can see they are actually playing a swimming animation and swimming around and as long as Lathan doesn't get himself dead here. Um, <laughs> and they move faster in water than they used to. So yeah. water is a little... Water is definitely scarier than it used to. Oh, go underwater. The other thing is the, the water fog, which is a little hard to see in this small of a body of water. But uh, you can't see that far in water now with the, uh, the new fog. I think just uh, two nice changes, actually. Uh, having them swim a little bit faster, move a little bit faster. The animation is still a little bit rough, I think, but it's a good to start there. And the fog, yeah, that definitely makes sense. You shouldn't be able to see that far underwater. Uh, but it definitely has a different feel to the water, knowing that they actually can move a little faster than you can, and you can't see them until they're fairly close to you. 
Yeah, if you just get a bunch of them, or oh damn, okay. should be more natural and consistent, and pretty much always have a hit reaction when you're hitting them. But if you keep hitting the same one, you'll see the reactions get less and less. And uh, well, you definitely see that they do uh, sort of move back a little bit. They sort of not in pain, but we can definitely see there's some response from the zombie and the animation changes as you hit them, and that's nice. So you can definitely tell there's that slight stagger, slight nudge. Awesome. Well, actually, there's another thing you can show off, too. You're right next to my little uh, pillar test. If you go up on top of that uh, that wall that you're looking at there, the wood to your left. I'm hoping I'm at the right thing. Remember, yep. there's a delay, so. Yeah, I, yeah. I was just trying to remember that. <laughs> uh, Actually, that'll show two things right there. Normally, zombies would fall off that in Alpha 18 and not get to you. That's been fixed. So those those steep wedges that the player can actually more or less walk on, although technically the player can walk on the tip of the wedge, whereas the zombies are walking more down the center of that wedge, but the zombies walk across it without falling down. Um, and the, and the same thing with the walls around the base at the bottom. Although with that um, with that path to get to you, that's why they're walking on it. But if you busted off that path right there, they would basically just come up the side walls and jump and get up to you without any problem. Or before they used to get stuck and bounce off of it and not really attack it and not really... It was just kind of broken and didn't work very well. So Well, that's one exploit fixed. Great to see that one being fixed. Uh, Fatal did mention before that he had changed that, and uh, I think it's the right thing to do. It's, uh, it was a little bit game-breaking before because the zombies just couldn't deal with them in any fashion, and uh, that's obviously because of the complexity of the of the shapes and everything and how the the zombies are pathing across versus thing i think this, this is a good change and it'll make us uh, adapt to it i know it's really controversial some people really love it to be in the game but i, I I'm, I'm glad it's gone actually you know you could uh you could spawn some vultures and go in that cage over there um if you go to what, this cage? the center of the map kind of yeah there's a cage right there well actually if you spawn a bunch of vultures and then just move yourself yeah, if you like splatter yourself like right oh, there. Oh, damn it, I knew that was going to happen. All right, run in the cage. <laughs> and yeah, unfortunately, you sometimes fall. There you go. Oh. So, vultures and how they react to this type of situation has been completely redone. Um, before, they would uh, stupidly kind of just float up in the sky and not be able to get to you. And you were basically safe. Not any longer. Now they. Um, they think you're just a snack in a box, and uh, they will heavily smash and beat on those bars, um, nice. trying to get at you. Nice, and I think this was needed. It was, it was a problem during especially hordes before that they would spawn in and they would be flying, but they couldn't get down to you because you were inside a building, and then they would fly up again. Maybe vomit if they saw it and fly away and then fly around and now they will do something. Now they'll aggro on you, they'll try to bash things and that's good. It's, it's the way it should be because it was just a wasted spawn before where instead of having eight zombies coming for you, you would have five because three were vultures and they weren't doing anything. Now they'll still be attacking and bashing things. Caller Steve. I don't, uh, yeah, it's just call, yeah. It used, it used oh. to be like a, the same as a Steve model uh, with his legs removed uh, but we we decided to make a unique mesh for the crawler oh, oh see he did crawl up it was just hard to see because this guy was oh look at him go oh look at that okay so yeah let's come on guys. yeah they still they still float a little high on each other that's that's kind of a trickier issue to fix but uh maybe someday we'll get that one adjusted to but uh yeah dropping oh, down yeah. looks good if you go back up on top you'll see they um get up pretty nice yeah no that looks really nice I like that that definitely was something that looked really weird before and just as an aside the combat music is sorry it's it's it is starting to grate on me it's uh, one of the musics that i think that they need to tone down or change into the sky that bug still needs to be fixed um but uh in the average case it works pretty well okay. then full damage was not changed with zombies they still take a percentage of their damage as their maximum fall damage 
In other words, you can't kill one with a single fall jump into your gigantic pit. So I guess that's uh same as before, still a third of the damage maximum. I play the game on streams and I do watch for fun exploits and bugs and sometimes I fix them if there's a reasonable way to fix them. And sometimes they just stay in there for a while like the uh, the arrow sled exploit. Which unfortunately I, I could fix. I know of some ways to fix it, but it's kind of like, oh, that's going to slow down pathfinding. And I prefer not to do things that cause the game to run slower as much as I can. Um, yes, you could remove arrow slip blocks altogether or not allow you to rotate them where they're on the ground would be another way to do it. So it seems like the arrow slit uh, repelling uh, function is still working. They're not fixing it yet. I hope they will at some point because it's a really weird thing, but uh, eventually. Yeah. Well, well, and hopefully this stuff will all be, the modders can change XML all they want because hopefully the various settings to do with how well the AI path to you and stuff will be set on all the different zombies in the XML and modders could easily do something that's like, oh, they're all stupid, they're all smart. It's, you know, whatever, by just changing out the XML values. Uh, so uh, there was a long discussion about the AI of the zombie behavior and everything. And it, it is it is something that is uh, the community obviously talks about a lot. And uh, I, I do agree, putting a, it in the config file XML so people can sort of tweak it on themselves or mods really makes sense. Okay, we're we're gonna gonna go last. Last. All right, let me let me talk about Mr. Zach Roberts. Okay, he's here, he's a, he is a programmer that's been on the team for, gosh, coming so, up on uh, like three years. Mm -hmm. The big thing is we've got uh, new content. Uh, so we have uh, individualized trader themes. We've got a home day theme. We've got a home night theme. So that's uh, stuff that's going to play whenever you're like, uh, you know, around your bedroll. Yep. So, uh, so yeah, you, you get that. Uh, yeah, you basically get this like dynamically constructed uh, music for uh, it's exploration, suspense and combat. It worked that way uh, for exploration in 18, and uh, so yeah, that, that functionality got extended okay. to those layers. Hold on oh. just a sec, sorry. Oh, yeah. Can you hear it now? Can you hear uh, Trader Hugh? Trader Hugh is kind of like a, to shut up. <laughs> a rocker. <laughs> All right, shut up. I just want to hear. And I think this is really nice. It's uh, it's good that they've changed this up uh, so they have individual for each of the traders and they just need more, more situations. Maybe you go into the wasteland, you have a different wasteland spooky, you have the, the burnt forest is one, desert has another one and sort of build it up that way uh, towards, uh, you know, you, when you're meeting the Duke or in the White River, or whatever communities and stuff like that. And I'll, I think that'll be cool. Are you guys able to hear it okay? Uh let us know in the chat. So calming, I know, right? Yeah. I don't want to talk over it, but they asked if there'd be any copyright issues and uh, you guys can restream this. Uh, we're not going to shut down people streaming and, and monetizing videos of seven days, promoting seven days because the dynamic music system is playing in their video. So that's, uh, so there will not be copyright issues in that regard. So now I think this is a trade of Jen and uh, her calming okay. sound like, uh, Actually, we got one more. and it probably would have been nice if they redid the uh, actual PI itself, the trader look a little bit more fitting for her. They're all good. We have great prices. Yeah, so Bob is our uh, our country boy gun nut, right? So <laughs> this is the theme we've got. He's a uh, he deals in mechanical stuff, so we thought a uh, yeah a kind of country boy theme fit him pretty well. And there you have it, he's got 100,000 hit points.
Yeah, so if uh, enough of these guys like wake up and start pursuing you, you should get uh, combat. I like this one, the home, home bedroom, home daytime. It's a little bit calm and chilling and everything. And it's something that it would be, I hope they have multiple versions as well. So it's not always the same. Sure, I can do the nighttime too. I don't think it's based on, is it based on biome? Um, your threat level is partially based on biome. Uh, I think they meant the home theme. Oh, okay. I figured no, but... Yeah, and I think that that's exactly what I was saying as well. They should expand that sort of over time to have a different uh, home, different exploration suspense depending on where you are, because it does make sense. If you're in the winter, maybe you should have a slightly more wintry tune versus desert tune, or... In wasteland, yeah, what, etc. Even if it's at your home, home? Uh, being in the wasteland at night in your home should be different than uh, being in a uh, nice forest. Not 50. Okay. Uh, next up, we have uh, Mr. Steve Dudek. He joined the team uh, several months ago. Um, he's worked with, with Sean before at Beavis Company. Uh, Steve has been working his butt off uh, on the, the junk drone, and we're we're disclaimer here we're going to show you some junk drone stuff we're going to talk about the junk drone but it, we're going to put it in when it's ready it might be a 19.1 19.2 patch kind of thing take it away steve uh hi yep i'm steve dudek um and for the most part i just kind of been doing general kind of programming like that um and the drone is uh kind of my pet project at the moment um so far, it's been coming along pretty well. Um, it, uh, I guess I'll just kind of describe a little bit about it and uh, how it works. Um, contrast the kind of things like turrets, it's more of a little companion. Uh, it'll follow you around. Uh, you can tell it to stay in defend an area. Um, it's probably more for the intellect player. There's perks that go along with that with it. Um, Besides that, it uh, just standard out of the box. It just has a simple stun attack it uses uh, to kind of help protect the player from any zombies approaching them. It also will take and use any healing items that the player has in its inventory and will try to heal the player if they end up getting injured. It's like a mobile little storage capacity, so you can load it up with other things as well. Um, it has 16 slots, but Potentially later, that could also be increased through mods and different things like that. And um, at the moment, uh, quite a few things that we're going through are just some different uh, multiplayer uh, issues that are being addressed uh, to make sure everything works uh, when you're playing with other people. Kind of like right over here. We can. I'll do kill all again so we don't get any distractions. We'll spawn our own whatever. Okay, so let me get. Oh man, are you kidding me? Tier one. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, oh, look at that. Okay. So here we go, everybody. We ready? Ready for duty. Oh. So, there's the drone. Hello, buddy. Okay. So, we can look him in storage. Okay, hey, hold that. Oh, go ahead and start explaining, by the way. Oops, sure. that's a uh, so, um, 
can there's two ways to interact with them one is just to talk or you can also press and hold the key to get those direct uh kind of commands um he will sit there and mostly focus on you but when you start running he'll start to follow you and then he'll try and call out or detect other targets um the uh right now he just uh he shocks out of his little arm but possibility later there too of him having some more weaponry uh through mods if he gets upgraded the uh, cooldown for his stun is a little long, uh, so you kind of got to wait quite a bit, but I mean if a zombie's kind of approaching you, he'll usually uh, get to him before he gets to you. If you have multiple zombies, uh, it gets a little more dicey. Currently, once you uh, get hurt, uh, down to, um, I think it's 50% health at the moment, he will go ahead and... Uh, to heal you if you have bandages and stuff in his inventory otherwise he should uh, perform a bark that'll let you know um you know i can't heal you because i don't have these items you hit me come on a little bit more a little bit more come on. one more this might sting a little disregard that error that you saw It looks like he was trying to heal you there, but uh, it does not look like it's successful. Yeah, no, no, it, it messed up. Oh wait, no, now it's working. Oh, that's actually quite cool. I think that the animations is a little bit like it's 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 not like a small stun baton kind of thing. It's more like a laser flash, really, really strong. Maybe that needs to be toned down a little bit at like a. Uh, shooting some kind of uh, taser at them as opposed to a uh, electric uh, beam or something but it looks really good i was expecting the drone to be bigger not so small but i guess then uh, yeah. then they wouldn't be able to fly coming along really well i'd say uh, for, uh so it's had some pathing challenges trying to get it on the pathing system uh that's been going pretty well so far um the typical oh sorry <laughs> right as you said that <laughs> right as I said it, of course. And it's really cool. I mean, you can imagine once they get this done, maybe they can get the wolf uh, as well, the companion, other companion to sort of use similar AI system to follow you and interact with you and handle you. We're, we're, we're taking on some more challenging aspects like this, but we didn't want to delay 19 because this was a challenging thing. So that's, you know, we're, we're, we're working on it and we're going to still put 19 out. So that's that's our stance on this and uh, speaking of the next person up uh, mr ryan rayner is uh he's kind of a jack of all trades for the for the team he's been with us for a long time he's like employee number four similar to joel i had to do a lot of um different categories jack of all trades like Rick said do we have that many like airdrops at night no i don't think we have them at all yeah. Dude. I didn't know if it would be a thing or not, but I just kind of threw it in. It should be a thing. I really, yeah, sure. honestly, I think that's a good idea. I like that. It looks even better at night than it does during the daytime. You can imagine having better loot at nighttime as well. Maybe, you know, has a few hour expiration time. And then after that, it's it's gone because it's been looted already by you know, bandits or whoever. Hey, Lathan, you want to have some real fun? You should crank up the fog. Because no one's ever seen the extent that the fog can go to now. Oh. Yeah, this seems so much better. <laughs> oh! <laughs> this seems so much better. I'm glad we did this at night. Oh, wow, that looks awesome, actually. I'm obviously playing like this. It's going to be tough, but that looks awesome. It would be have a nice to have sort of... A, sometimes when there's wandering hordes or events happening, then the fog rolls in, and uh, you can't quite see where they're coming from, so they'll be coming somewhere. You might be able to hear them, but you can't see them. Yeah, because I think part of our future event system, whenever we get around to doing this, could include events like, oh, extremely you know, foggy weather for an hour or two or whatever. Uh, here's a good one uh, for Sean. Is dynamic resolution going to be in A19? You actually didn't talk about it. I know I didn't. I, I saw that section, but I was like, I already, you know, gabbed for long enough. So, yeah. But it, since they're asking, yes, it is in A19. And it works. And it is, but it is disabled by default because uh, 
it may not always be great for some people. Some people may not like it. So the safe choice was just to turn it off um, for now anyway. Um, mm -hmm. You can run it in two modes. You can basically do auto or you can set it to do a fixed scale. Auto just moves the resolution up and down based upon your frame rate. Once you get down below a number that you can set, it starts dropping your resolution. And then once it gets up around 60, it'll start increasing it. And it's going to be a really nice dynamic resolution because that's something that can give you a fair bit of extra FPS and still have uh, good visuals. So I, I'm excited to see how that turns out in the game. Well, there was a lot of questions as part of the end hour plus uh, in the stream. So a lot of things in there. And if you care about uh, that, go watch the, the whole stream because it's really difficult to condense that because there are just firing questions and answering questions and discussing around it. But it's really interesting to hear from all of them, all from the developer and since Personally, I hope that the junk drone, the one that flies around, uh, get that fixed as soon as possible because it looks like it will be a really fun and cool thing to uh, Alpha 19. It'll probably be one of the highlights, I hope. But we're running towards the end of the week here and it's almost going to be Friday and launch of this stream weekend. So make sure you have subscribed to my channel or ring that notification bell and go follow me on twitch.tv slash 42 as well because I will definitely be streaming on Saturday and Sunday. Timing is around 11 a.m. EST, uh, early afternoon in Europe and late evening here for me in Asia. So go give me a follow on Twitch as well. Stay safe, stay psyched, and I'll see you next time. Special thanks to the great patrons supporting the channel. If you would like to join the Vedic community and support these videos, do follow the Patreon link.